I'm at the Wolf Lake Access Point in Kawartha Highlands Provincial Park. Um, this is my second backcountry canoe trip this season. It is uh, the beginning of May. I was out last weekend as well. It was uh, it was an okay weekend actually. It had a bit of sun, <laughs> then a lot of rain, and then the black flies came out. Uh, the black flies are out now. Um, there's a few flying around me. I haven't been totally swarmed yet, but uh, this is another weekend where day one looks like it's gonna be great. And then uh, the next two days look like rain, but hey, I'm out here. Got the chance to come out. I'm joining my buddy, Tim. He's already on a, a site on Wolf Lake. It's very easy, just a short paddle across the lake and we're at the site. And uh, yeah, then we'll hang out for a few days. I'm just about to load up the canoe and paddle out. Tim back there and uh, this is where we're staying this nice little campsite on a point how are you doing hey pretty good last time I was on this site I had the rescue people arrive because I was busting through a bit of ice to get out so nice to come back when it's beautiful weather all right i am set up i set up my uh, eureka no bug zone and i've got my little single person tent uh, set up inside there so uh, there have been some bugs i mean it's a bit windy so most of them are blowing away but uh, i'll be safe in there and also i've got the tarp up as well we are expecting rain tonight tomorrow <laughs> and Sunday. So I'll be dry in there, hopefully. This is actually quite a nice site. It's on a bit of a point, um, but it's all the way from the point to halfway along the point pretty much is your site. So there's lots of places to put tents, um, nice fireplace, picnic table. Uh, it's, it's just beautiful. And today is gorgeous. The sun is out. It is so warm. Um, that's all going to change a little later. <laughs> While well, the sun's gone in, um, things got a little bit more chilly. Um, Tim set up, he has a bug shelter, a little different than mine, but we set that up and put it around the uh, picnic table. There was a little sprinkle of rain, we played some games. Now Tim is back uh, chopping up some wood for a campfire. I am doing some exploring. I am looking for the Thunderbox. Um, it is quite a hike <laughs> from the campsite to the Thunderbox, uh, but I'll get there. <laughs> Ah, and there it is. Thunderbox. It's actually a nice view from this Thunderbox. I am beyond the Thunderbox, and there is a bit of a trail that goes back into the woods here. I'm just going to see how far back I can go. It's very nice in here. Yeah, lose the trail pretty quickly after the Thunderbox, but uh, you can get at least down to the end of the point. Um, there's multiple other points that come off of uh, this area. Uh, it's just, it's really cool. I'm really liking this spot. Well, I'm heading back now. Uh, I didn't get that far, but uh, 
it's starting to rain, so I don't really want to get too wet. So I'm heading back. We've got a fire going. Um, gonna cook some dinner. I have some chicken tenders, which I like bringing chicken tenders because I can eat them cold or uh, if I have a fire or a stove, I can heat them up and I think I'll heat mine up. I had pizza delivered. It was amazing. I don't know how they did it, but this is and I am having chicken tenders. They're good cold, but they're also good heated up over the fire. And there it is, heated up chicken tenders. Awesome. Had dinner, um, it's raining a little harder now. So Tim and I are just gonna hang out in the shelter for a bit, probably play some cards or some games. And then uh, I think tonight I'm turning in pretty early. Um, yeah, you get up early to come camping, you get tired, so <laughs> might as well go to sleep, especially with it raining. Right, well, the rain has settled in uh, and uh, everything's very wet. <laughs> so I am actually turning in now. Gonna get in my tent, get nice and dry and uh, cozy and warm. And uh, I mean, it's early to go to bed, but still, that's what I'm doing. I'm in my tent. I'm in bed. I can see a nice, uh, the sun is setting. I mean, I can't see the sun, but uh, it, it looks nice over that way. Anyway, I'm going to be hanging out in here for the night. Um, don't know how late I'll stay up. Um, not much to do in here, but uh, <laughs> that's what happens when it's raining. You end up just hunkering down and uh, getting a lot of rest. <laughs> Ah, good morning. So, woken up to mostly cloud. Occasionally the sun pokes out. So this is way better weather than uh, was forecast um, so far. Anyway, so hopefully today will be pretty nice. Just gonna lie here and enjoy this a little longer and then uh, get up and get the day started. <laughs> So far, it's a beautiful morning. Um, the sun's been out. We weren't expecting sun. That's great. Uh, I sat out in my chair for a little while. Um, the black flies are out, and when you sit in one space for a spot, they tend to find you. Uh, but they're not terrible at the moment. Uh, but right now, I'm sitting sitting up inside the, uh, the Tim's bug shelter uh, at the picnic table. And uh, because I expected rain, I brought my laptop, and I'm going to do a little bit of. Oops creative stuff uh, while I'm camping. It's pretty cool. Now the wind has picked up a bit, but uh, I'm gonna head out for a little bit of a paddle just to explore. I might explore up the coast back to the put-in even, um, rather than going all the way down to uh, Crab Lake, but uh, I wanna keep close to shore because it's very windy. exploring all the little bays and, and stuff like that along the lake. That's always a fun thing to do is follow the shoreline of a lake just for fun really but uh, you get to know the lake a lot better than just going straight across it and uh, yeah it's just really cool. This is really cool. I found at the end of this little bay 
uh, by my campsite or a couple over from my campsite, there was a little tiny gap and it's brought me into this tiny little lake uh, with lots of trees down. Beavers must be active in here too. It's, it's just really cool. It's always cool to discover new things that were well, new to you that you haven't seen before. Coming up on a beaver dam, quite a big drop down the other side. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's awesome. I love these islands that are out in the middle of Wolf Lake. Uh, you pass by them if you're paddling down the lake towards uh, the end of it and going over to Crab, or even on, I'm on the other side of it that I normally would be heading over to my site. But that's just really nice. It's a beautiful lake. Okay, I am packed. I am heading out. It is seven o'clock on the Saturday. Uh, I want to get out and avoid the rain. So I'm heading out. Tim's staying here. He's a whole nother day and a whole nother night. So hopefully, I, th I think Monday's supposed to be nice uh, for him to, to paddle out. But I'm avoiding the rain, so I'm leaving right now.